I grew up in a very tough environment. All those people outside on the corner in front of the building. At eight years old, I had no idea what they were doing, but I learned really quickly that they, they were selling crack. Coming from such a crime-ridden community, getting the guys that are actually doing what's wrong, that's something that was very important to me. My name is Edwin Raymond, and I'm a New York City police officer. When I was really young, cops were the guys on TV, the good guys, the guys that caught the bad guys, the guys that were there to save you, the guys that were there to help you. When I was 12 is when the Abner Louima situation happened, just a few blocks away from where I grew up. And when I learned exactly what happened to Abner Louima, I was just shocked. Cops, they do this? This is crazy. About two years later is when Amadou Diallo happens. That one was just as shocking. 41 shots, I couldn't get my mind around that. I decided to join the NYPD to help fix many of the issues and the perception of cops. When I graduated the academy, everything we had learned in the academy about interacting with the public and the importance of discretion, you know, all of these great attributes to policing, we were pretty much told to leave in the academy. It was go and get a rest. That's it. I was assigned to the Transit Bureau. In transit, the way that you get these arrests to satisfy the de facto quota is to hide in all sorts of transit rooms. Officers are in these rooms peeking through the vents. Do they want to be in the transit rooms? No. But this is how they're going to consistently meet that quota. For a commander to be promoted, it's all about those numbers being right. No matter how much crime increases, if arrest and summons in increase with it and surpass it, you're doing a good job. It generates revenue for the city, those summonses. After school, two 17-year-olds don't have their metro cards, so they walk through the exit gate. That's quota food. But that's also a 17-year-old who's a year from college. You've affected their life in, in a negative way for maybe decades. I felt that I have to do what I can do to change this. 